Hello, welcome back to Colonial Airstream. I'm Patrick Botticelli. Today I'm going to feature the all new 2020 Airstream Bambi 22FB. This trailer has an exterior length of 21 foot 8 inches from the center of the ball to the back of the trailer, has an exterior width of 8 foot, interior width of 7 foot 7 inches. The interior headroom from floor to bottom of the air conditioning is 6 foot 4, and the exterior height to the top of the air conditioning is 9 foot 3. This trailer has a gross vehicle weight rating of 5,000 pounds, an unloaded vehicle weight rating before cargo and options of 3,800 pounds, giving you a starting net carrying capacity of 1,200 pounds. The hitch weight is only 500 pounds. The trailer has a 13,500 V2 air conditioning, 18,000 BTU furnace, and the refrigerator is 4.3 cubic foot. The freshwater tank is 27 gallons, the gray waste tank, which is your sink and shower, is 28, and the black tank for toilet is 18. The base MSRP before factory options is $57,900. This has the one available option, which is a solar charging system. It gives you a 90 watt solar panel and upgrades the batteries from a lead acid style group 24 series to an absorbed glass mat group 24 series. Those batteries are parallel and they're 12 volt. That factory option is $1,700 and the national dest uh, destination charge is 1334 That's the same fee for every dealer in the country. Giving you a total MSRP of 60,934. 60, Let's head inside. So you can see the openness of the floor plan. This uh, bed up front is 54 inches wide by 80 long. And this bed here is 34 inches wide by 74. So you could sleep up to four people here. That could be two adults in the bed up front and two kids on this dinette. The interior decor in is the dune. So this is the Formatex uh, material here. It comes in a dark blue or the light gray. So this is the dune and the ocean would be the dark blue. Over here we have a wardrobe. Very large wardrobe that's lit. There's a light inside here. There's a wardrobe rod here with little notches so your clothes won't slide back and forth. And then the floor lifts up to give you access to your water pump and some maintenance items. But a large shelf up top. All the cabinetry is plywood with laminate. There's not sticker wrap. This is not particle board. Premium hardware on the doors. Premium catches. A latch catch to keep it uh, shut. The furnace is a ducted uh, system. Uses uh, 12 volt to spin that blower motor around and blow the air out of the vents. And it uses propane as its fuel. Uh, it also has an electric heat strip built into the air conditioning to take the chill out at night if you didn't want to run the furnace. The 4.3 cubic foot refrigerator is a Nova Cool compressor style. The major advantage to a compressor style refrigerator for one is the depth. If you look at a standard uh, ammonia absorption refrigerator they're not that deep so even though the door is wider or taller the overall cubic, uh, cubic foot could be a lot smaller. Another advantage is you don't need exterior venting uh, which uh, prevents uh, wind blowing into the trailer also possible leaks or you don't need to use a 12 volt fan behind it to cool that compartment. Uh, so this runs off the uh, two batteries that come standard with the trailer. Those are 80 amp hour batteries each, so you have 160 amp hours total. Uh, and then when you plug into shore power, it, it switches to electricity. And there's a little re uh, freezer portion up top here. And this door is reversible if you decided to switch it. Uh, and there's a little safety latch here. Down here we have a battery converter charger that converts AC to DC, charges your batteries, has all your breakers and your TFCI reset. Also has 12 volt fuses for your radio, your water pump, your fans. There's a propane leak, leak detector here down on the floor. There's a two burner cooktop. One is a higher output and this one's a low output. You spin which one you want on, hold it in to the light and ignite it. If I had propane in the trailer, that would ignite. There's electrical outlets in the trailer. Those outlets work when you're plugged into shore power at a campground or if you brought a portable generator with you. There's a television here in the living area, an articulating arm that locks in place. There's a little quick release here. And then the remote control comes with it. There's also the control to operate your furnace. So you can turn the furnace on and off up top and change your temperature. 
And then over here on the side of the refrigerator, there's an antenna booster. If you're gonna use the over to our air antenna, you'd press that in. That's a 12 volt boost and signal. Overhead roof lockers. Uh, if you compare this model to the 2019 Sport Bambi, this trailer, the cabinets are larger and the overall width of the trailer, that trailer was only seven foot four wide, this is eight foot wide. So you got a lot more aisle space you know, in comparison to previous model years, and then quite a bit of upgrades, like the refrigerator, the cabinet size. But on uh, this overhead roof locker, we have an AM, FM, CD, DVD player, with its, which is also Bluetooth for the television. There's a USB input here in the front, and there's a USB charging port here on the side. This also comes with a wireless backup camera for your vehicle. We also call it a driving camera. So you plug this into a 12 volt socket in your tow vehicle, turn on your parking lights or headlights that will power the rear camera in the trailer. And uh, then you can see what's going on behind you. Uh, it's also uh, good when you're backing up so you can see if you're uh, running into things. But when you're driving, you could see if you pass someone before you change lanes. So it gives you that extra peace of mind. The sink is a double sink. It's deep stainless steel comes with these little covers here. Quality Moen faucet. The gauge of this, this sink is really fixed, like a residential quality. You have a window here behind the sink. This window opens, the bottom portion opens. And if you're comparing this to a Caravel, a Caravel would either have a porthole window uh, or a window that opens all the way out, depending on where they are. But they are the same floor plan. Just the feature level is quite different when comparison uh, when you're comparing a Bambi to a Caravel, we have a little guide on our Colonial Airstream website in comparison of the Bambi versus the Caravel for 2020. Below the sink, we have some storage for a trash pail. There's also a civilware uh, organizer here. This little cutout here is the return for the furnace that's built in below. Up top here, we have a fantastic fan with a manual lid and then you spin your selection of your speed. It has a quick release screen so you can watch the blades in the screen periodically. This has a smoke detector, a carbon monoxide detector, a fresh 9 volt battery. You gotta change them every six months. This has a privacy curtain here for the bedroom. So you can completely close this area off. And it has a little tether here off to the side. And this bed, the 54 inch by 80, is just a little bit less narrow than uh, a queen size bed, a residential queen bed, but it does have the same length. This bed lifts up and gains you access to four large storage bins. They can also slide out of the front. So there's two all the way up front, and then there's two here. There's also an access panel here off to the side for the water heater to bypass the water heater. This water heat is six gallons and it runs on gas and it has electric spark ignition. Over here next to the water heater, there's a battery disconnect switch. So you can turn the batteries off in the trailer if you're gonna put it into storage and you don't want a drain. This is a premium pillow top memory foam mattress that Airstream supplies. The floor is vinyl flooring, it goes throughout. So the flooring was put down before they installed all the furniture in the trailer. The aluminum interior skin is separated from the exterior aluminum skin. You got equal bad insulation throughout. There's an emergency exit here next to the bed. So you can see here, in case of emergency, there's two red handles and you can pop the window out. But it also doubles as a regular ventilation window. This also has premium black outlining curtains that Airstream manufactures. Right there in Jackson Center, Ohio. They've been at that factory since the late 50s. There's a new factory being built in the same town, which is about 750,000 square foot of production space on top of the 250,000 square foot they already have. Full panoramic front windows. The, the glass is all safety glass and it's tinted. There's rock guards over them, which you'll see when we get to the exterior. You got lights over the bed, all LED lights, large overhead roof lockers. 
And at the head of the bed, you can't see it, but on this side there's a USB charging port, just like there is one here. So you could charge the devices at night. You got a ceiling light switch here next to the bed, a little cubby for magazines, an electrical outlet, which is powered when you're plugged into shore power, this large nightstand area, a storage bin at the head of the bed so you can store extra pillows or blankets in them. Uh, side window that opens. The front window opens all the way out. So that's a very large ventilation. And you have full closeout uh, curtains here in the front. The dinette. Uh, this table slides out, which makes it easier for someone to get in on the inside. You can sit four adults here, or two adults and two children. To get out, you just slide out the table. And then this folds down into a bed, and you just undo these little clamps here. All right, and what I, what I find easiest is you pull the table partially out, start pushing down, and then pop these cushions up top. Uh, there's also an electrical outlet down here too, so when you're at the dinette, you can use that electrical outlet. And then while I have these up, you can see there's uh, access to get to some of the storage compartments. One here, and there's one on this side. There's another one tucked back there too. That box right there is just part of the wheel well that's boxed over it. So if you compare it to like the bed of a pickup truck. And then once I get it down, I'm going to lock these in. I'm going to take these backrests, push them together. It's 75 inches. I'm five foot nine in comparison. You can see I have plenty of room to sleep and lay down at night. Now, there's enough room if you want to squeeze in two adults for a night, you could. To get it back up, just put these back. I'm going to slide the table out partially, undo the two clamps, tuck the cushions around the table. And this is a very durable material, this Performatex. If you want to look it up online, the cleaning properties, it's all synthetic. So it's uh, very easy to wipe stains off if you've got stains. And if you check out the construction of these cabinets, it's plywood with laminate like we talked about before. But these corners here, this is solid oak. And there she uses pocket hole screws to bolt and uh, fasten items together. So they're very secure. I try to use a minimum amount of staples. This flips down. This is additional storage here. But the aisle width is, is really what is improved on the 22 FB floor plan for 2020. All that extra width, you have more room, so you could you could do some meal prep here and people could get out of the dinette without having you move. You could also have your pets laying on the floor and they'll have a lot of extra room. 13,500 BT air conditioning, has different vents to distribute air throughout the trailer. There's an intake here, so there's a little uh, screen here that you'll have to clean periodically for lint. You have an Instacool to dump air straight down if you didn't want to vent it. And you have your dials for warm, cool, and different fan speeds here as well. In the bathroom, that's before we get there, there's another fantastic fan. There's two of them. Manual lid, variable speed option. You have ceiling light switch here for the ceiling lights up top. Uh, there's a fire extinguisher by the entry door. There's the Airstream welcome mat it comes with. Boot storage here. There's a little tray here by the door to store your shoes in when you come inside. This is just a little access panel for the shower faucet if you ever had to replace that. Coat hook, a little dry erase board. There's a marker up here, a little magnet so you can hang things. Got the rubber bumper over the entry door in case you don't duck on the way out. You don't bump your head there. A little towel bar in the back of the door. And this, instead of having hardware stick out that you get caught on, uh, they do a flush mount handle. Thetford toilet in this trailer has a foot paddle. Just push down on the pedal, opens the trap door. Allows the water pump to kick on if you're running off of your 27 gallon fresh water tank. Or if you're hooked up, the city water connection allows water to flush the bowl. The little pink you see in there is the RV antifreeze because this trailer is winterized. The box that the toilet sits on, the elevated box, is the black tank, which is 18 gallons. You have a furnace duct in the bathroom. 
plenty of storage next to the toilet. Beautiful stretch formed aluminum that's exposed on the inside on this trailer. This also has the Sun Explorer 2 solar display. So you could see uh, if, what your battery percentage is, your battery voltage, solar voltage, solar amp, charge amp, solar amp hours, and charging status all from here. Now this is only if you get this optional solar charging system, which I'd highly recommend. You can also monitor your tanks and your battery level here with the sea level 2 tank monitoring. Battery is 12.7 volts, freshwater tank is zero at empty, it'd be percentages, which is a little bit better than the standard industry, which will give you thirds or quarters of tank level. This gives you in levels of percentage, one through a hundred. Gray waste and black waste. Again, gray is sink and shower, black is toilet. You can also turn on your demand 12 volt water pump here. That will take water stored in your freshwater tank, your 27 gallon tank, pressurize the plumbing system, and then the pump will shut off. And then once you turn on a faucet, the pump will sense a drop in pressure and kick on to give you adequate water pressure. Uh, back over here we have the water heater control. So this allows you to turn the water heater on and off. Red light will kick on first to let you know the tank is igniting. Once the red light kicks off, you know the tank has ignited. If it comes back on, which it did because it's empty, you know you have a misfire. Either your tank's empty, you're out of propane, you got an air bubble in the propane. This is the light for the bathroom. Over here, you have another ventilation window. Aluminum blinds come on clip, and you can pull them up to gain access to that. Beautiful mowing faucet, another thick stainless steel sink. Toilet paper holder underneath the vanity. If you notice, like the insides are all finished with laminate. If you compare to other brand RVs, you open up a cab and it's usually like bare wood. Uh, this is going to allow it to clean a lot better. There's a mirror over the vanity with magnification. You can change the angles. And then a uh, Made in USA shower door. It's an accordion style door. It's a little cold, so it's a little stiff right now, but just snap that in place when you're showering. When you're done, roll it back and do a full snap. Inside the shower, you have a very thick bottom pan, ABS plastic. Overlapping seam here for the top that goes all the way up and around. So it's completely enclosed all the way around in the shower. There's only a couple seams. High quality uh, shower diverter. The wand, come, the Delta wand comes off there's a pause on it so you can pause it once you get your desired temperature if you're trying to conserve water. There's a ledge here for shampoo. There's another ledge here in the bottom. There's a clothesline in here that pulls across and then clips in so you can hang light items here. Lock it in place and you can hang them there to dry. Just don't put any heavy items like towels on there. But a very open floor plan. If you Stay back there and look, you know, the width, the height, the width of the aisle, the size of the dinette is very generous for a small trailer that is 5,000 pound GVWR. Let's head outside. I want to show you some things on the exterior, starting with this threshold here. Well, you're going to bring a lot of sand and dirt in and out of the trailer no matter what you do, if, even if you kick your shoes off. This here is on about a 45 degree angle, allows you to physically sweep the trailer out and it will go over this lip here. But it's extruded aluminum. The door frame is all extruded aluminum. And um, if you look at the quality of the door hardware here and the way the door is made and that signature bank vault shut that everybody loves. Lots of love, lots of man hours in one entry door. It takes uh, one person about eight hours, a full day, to manufacture one of these entry doors at the factory. Screen door detaches from the main door, locks in place there. This covers the gap. You couldn't see it when you're inside, but this extruded aluminum frame here around the door is all TIG welded here on the corners. So if any water got in behind here, it hit this lip and roll right out. You got grip tape here. So if you're on your way in, you don't slip out. Heavy gasket on the door itself. 
heavy duty stainless steel hinges for the screen door. My 1961 Airstream Bambi has stainless steel hinges, very similar to that. Heavy duty deadbolt so you can lock the door from the inside or outside side and then a heavy duty handle lock here too so it's a double lock with two separate keys and then uh, you could buy through parts and service screen door guards if you have pets or kids and you want to protect it beautiful buck rivet construction here for the door window look at these beautiful hinges that airstream makes for their trailers extruded aluminum belt line protection extruded aluminum rub rail protection the whole underbelly of the trailer is wrapped up in aluminum, so you have uh, plywood floor, tongue and groove. It has an outdoor exposure rating. It has an anti-wicking substance painted to the whole perimeter that if any water got in, you know, you had wet shoes and it got underneath the vinyl floor, it wouldn't soak it through the whole entire floor. Flex foil insulation below the floor, then it's wrapped up in aluminum. And the tanks are heated, so as long as you have your forest hot air propane furnace on, those tanks get a, a nice boost in temperature, about a seven degree boost in temperature. For unexpected drops in temperatures, you're camping and you're worried about your plumbing freezing overnight, if it dropped down for a little bit, leave that furnace on, it's gonna protect your tanks. The step here folds in, it's a regular steel step. Have a step light here, which is controlled from the inside. Outside GFCI protected electrical outlet, zip D awning, all aluminum construction here wrapped up an aluminum top and there's a procedure I have lots of videos on how to operate that awning uh, if you want to look online how to see how that works there's stabilizer jacks all four corners so in the wardrobe there's a tool that you could crank these jacks down it takes that bounce out of your walk when you're walking around inside there's two back here there's two in the front and these are not leveling jacks and they're not designed to lift the trailer up to change the tire. There's very specific jack locations underneath the trailer. You're going to use the bottle jack from your tow vehicle as long as it's rated high enough to jack up the trailer to uh, remove the tires. LED teardrop lights on the outside. LED rear tail lights. You'll see the Caravel has different light configuration. Caravel also have a back bumper with some additional storage. Bison plate bracket, beautiful milled Bambi medallion, tempered safety glass for the window, raised letter Airstream badging here. You can see the way all these panels go together, these stretch form panels. Uh, it's coated by Alcoa. You've got to wax it, wash it. Wax it once a year at least. Wash it, get the bugs off, get road salt off. Wireless backup camera here. This is where the waste discharge is. So we give you uh, in an RV starter kit, which you didn't see inside, a premium waste hose and lots of other accessories. You'll see them in a lot of my other videos. But you take the little cap off and you snap on the waste hose and then you would always discharge the black tank, toilet tank, black handle first, pulling that straight out. That will allow your toilet waste to flow through the waste hose, then close it. And then you're going to open up the gray waste, which is the sink and shower waste, to flush out your waste hose. Uh, it's never best practice to leave any of these handles open. It's always best practice to build up the waste a little bit and let it just charge fully. There's uh, also an LED light out here to illuminate this area. A waste hose storage tube here off to the side that you can put your waste hose in when you're done. And then there's a black tank flush. So after you gravity drain the black tank, and it's going to be the last time you empty it before you put it back in storage, you could leave that open and hook up a garden hose, and under pressure, that hose will wash out the inside of that black tank, get all that residual waste out, so you don't have to worry about the tank odor over time. Above that is a city water inlet. This will bypass that 27-gallon fresh water tank and supply water pressure to all your plumbing inside. This also has a water pressure regulator built into it, so if the water pressure spiked at the campground, your trailer is protected. Over here next to it is an outside utility share with a wand that pulls out hot and cold water. It's lockable. This is where the cable comes in at a campground. You hook into their cable service at the campground. You might need additional cables or cable box to make that work. This is the 30 amp detachable power cord. Airstream gives you a 25 foot power cord that comes with the trailer. This will plug into a 30 amp 125 volt connection at the campground. 
and there's a twist lock and a weather seal. There's a drip tube in the wheel well for your air conditioning condensation. Instead of running down the side of the trailer, it'll drip through a tube. And look at the Goodyear uh, tires. These are uh, special trailer tires, 225-75 R15. They're the Goodyear Endurance and they're load range E and maximum tire pressure is 80 PSI. It's very important to check your tire pressure before you ever move the trailer. Uh, you have to repack the wheel bearings following the procedure that's recommended from the axle manufacturer. It has never adjust brakes. A Dexter uh, axle system, it's a rubber torsion axle system, and plenty of ground clearance on this trailer. Uh, there's approximately 16 to 18 inch ground clearance to the frame here. This is the discharge for the Atwood furnace. This is the propane furnace system. This is the potable tank. This allows you to fill up that 27-gallon uh, fresh water tank. Now, this is not under pressure, so it's good, you're going to require to use your uh, water pump in order to get the water out of that. This is the water heater we saw underneath the bed. This is just an access panel to drain it. Uh, this is where the valve opens. The gas flows through, mixes with combustible air, ignites, and excess heat comes out of the top here. You have a pressure relief valve. This is not a storage compartment. It's just uh, a service access for technicians. This is the VIN plate. It gives you the production information, tire size, rim size, and recommended pressure. There's a 3M film here on the front. You can get these rock bars that this trailer has as an upgrade as a dealer install for anywhere of 16 to $1,800, one for each side. Uh, but a lot of the vehicles that are using to tow this don't have heavy duty truck tires, so they're not kicking up large rocks. They're passenger tires, so they kick up small pebbles, and this really is gonna protect your body. But if you have a really aggressive tread on your vehicle, you might wanna consider the heavy duty stainless steel rack protectors. This is the center solar stone guard, it lifts up. Neural knobs here adjust your height. Now allows you to open up your tempered glass window. It's very important to make sure you tether this down before you ever tow the trailer. These corners that protect your curved safety glass, you can remove them just to clean the glass. It's recommended to properly fasten them and put them back on before you tow. This has a manual hitch jack. You could do a dealer upgrade uh, between four and $500 to have an electric hitch jack. Has a standard seven way, seven pin connection. Uh, trailer has electric brakes, so you're gonna require to have an electric brake controller installed in your vehicle. It's also recommended to have the 12 volt charge lead working too on your tow vehicle. Trailer breakaway cable here. If the trailer ever detached from your tow vehicle, this would pull out and activate the brakes in the trailer. Always leave this in, never pull it out, and leave it out because it will rapidly drain your batteries and burn the magnets out on your brake drums. 11,000 pound safety chains, recommended to crisscross them and fat, uh, securely fasten them to your tow vehicle. This has the Demco uh, coupler, two and five sixteenth inch ball. Colonial gives you this uh, hitch lock here to lock the, so no one can get this up and get a ball underneath there and steal your trailer. Propane bottle cover, lid opens. You can undo the, the wing nut here and lift the cover off and uh, take your propane bottles out and either get them filled or these are 20 pounds each five gallon bottles but you could exchange these if you're on the run and you're, you can't find a place to fill propane you could exchange these bottles but a typical RV or since the refrigerator doesn't run on propane on this these will last you a whole season so unless you're camping in really cold weather and the furnace is running all the time uh, you're not going to go through a lot of propane. This is the battery box for the two AGM Group 24 series batteries in parallel. They're 12 volt. They're lifeline batteries. Now these batteries are only if you get the solar charging system as an upgrade. Standard batteries are interstate Group 24 series 12 volt lead acid batteries. Come around this side. You can see it's a boxed frame. It's not a C-channel frame. So it's fully boxed and rigid. There's a ZAMP port here at the front, which you can't see. It's a little buried under the... But if you wanted to hook up a portable ZAMP panel, uh, you could plug in there. There's a spare tire underneath the trailer. Just pull this little pin out here. And that tire drops down, and you can get to it. It's not fastened in. It's just cradled in. 
but it's also recommended when you're checking your tire pressure on the trailer, check your tire pressure on your spare. Bring that up and make sure it's firmly locked in place. You don't want that coming down on you when you're towing. Put the pin and lock it in place. All right. This is the outside storage compartment, which is lockable, insulated, weather sealed, has a mat down on the floor, so if you throw items in, it's not going to gouge your floor. But this is the 30 amp power cord that comes with it. And there's an LED light here off the side, which illuminates this compartment. So you can put any of your outdoor items in here. Standing back, oh, I didn't show you this one. I open the entry door. This keeps the door from flying around on a windy day. This little sticker here is just reminding you to check your lug nut torque. Very uh, important to follow a procedure for a lug nut torque. Uh, it's going to be hard to see, but coming around this side, if you stand back, you can talk about the roof line a little bit. Uh, you know what? We're going to go up. All right, so you can see the roof has a white coating on it. That reflects the sunlight, keeps the interior temperature about seven degrees cooler than the exterior. There's a fantastic fan lid. Behind that is the air conditioning. There's the 90 watt solar panel. Behind that, there's another fantastic fan, which we can't see. Radio antenna, and you got your stacks. I'm uh, sorry, TV antenna. There's a radio antenna behind that, and you got your stacks for the gray and black tank waste. It's very important to do an inspection of the roof at least once a year and every five years bring it in and have some of the seams resealed. And don't forget to clean the roof either. Well, this is Patrick with Colonial Airstream in Lakewood, New Jersey. We're soon gonna be in Millstone Township. We're building a brand new dealership. It's about a 50,000 square foot facility. A lot of property. We're gonna move the whole operation out there uh, early spring of 2020, so make sure you check us there. It's going to be the same website, same telephone number. Our website is colonialairstream.com. Our telephone number is 800-265-9019. It's going to be on Route 33. This Airstream is available at Colonial Airstream. I'm Patrick. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook. I'm Colonial Patrick. You can follow our store on Facebook. We're Colonial Airstream. Thanks for watching today.